Right, we're coming down the bridle path. Just met, met a lady on a horse who just caught her eye on a branch. Um, that's Canada Coombe down that way, and you can Hutton Woods over there. I'm cutting down a bridle path, which I came up the other day, but I was sort of pacing really. Uh, it's muddy, still muddy, but it has dried, it has shrunk a bit, but there could still be dodgy patches for me. Um, it's going to rain again next week, so it's probably a good idea to take advantage of this drier weather at the moment. Oh, and the sun's coming out, everyone. On the 6th of March, 2021, and we're still in COVID lockdown. We're still in the lockdown, and there's just a quietness, because we're supposed to be returning to some sort of normality, even though COVID is still with us, of course, and probably always will be. It's going to be like the flu. It's just going to be here. And they just have to keep updating the boosters for us. Um, but children have got to go back to school. People who've got work will gradually be going back to work as they start opening things up. I don't think they're opening up much hospitality or pubs until after Easter, actually. I think they want to do it slowly to see if there's what the reaction being and how they can perhaps get, jump on it quick if it does start um, growing again, you know. So, but it was like these people have had a year. I'm talking about families, not retired people like myself, but that's a different thing. But families have had a year, some without work. They've been furloughed, which means they get help from the government, who pay 80% of their money. The employers are going to have to start contributing soon, as the budget revealed. Not a good budget, not not really good for ordinary people. Taxes are going to go up. That means business people put all their prices up. So though it looks like they're having a go at the rich people, basically they just put all their stuff up to, to get their money back. And um, there we go, there's a nice scene there. But people have got to go back to, kids have got to go back to school. It's, they've been having a year of perhaps not having to get up until, you know, what teenagers are like and people like that. They can lie in bed a bit longer, walk around in their jammies, do a bit of homework, watch telly. Do you know what I mean? That there's been, and, and for their parents who maybe haven't been out, haven't had to work either. And the dogs have had their their owners home more. So it's going to be like a bit of a shock in a strange sort of way when they have to go back. Um, I remember when I had a lapse in, in work once. Um, obviously I'd bigger lapses when I was looking after the kids as a mum at home in that but I had like two careers and I <coughs> had a break from one career into the new one um, and that that was a bit of a shock you know because your timetable was to alter especially in nursing but another time I remember that I had a bit of a lull as well and um you get used to being home. You get used to thinking, oh, I'll just go for a walk now. No pressure, no alarm clock. You can listen to the archers. Read a book. Do you know what I mean? So you, it, it, it's cosy and it's nice and you think, oh, I, I like this feeling of being at home. You know? But you know you've got to work. So you try to choose a career that you like. So you enjoy your work. I mean, a lot of people, like Tesco's people that I talk to a lot, the workers, they, they've they still been working throughout it all and getting COVID and everything. 
and they haven't been offered the job, a lot of them are in the younger age groups. So yeah, this is me reflecting on my walk. This is um, 2021, we've had a year of this virus, over a year probably. Um, some of us don't know whether we've had it or not. I participated in some studies which they were looking at antibodies. Um, so, basically, I've, uh, I'm retired anyway, and I've got my own, um, I did used to have a camper van, in a way I'm glad I, I didn't still ha ha have it last year, the last year, because I wouldn't really been able to go out in it much. You know, even now it's still lockdown. So... But I think I brought that up on another video when I was talking about going camping again and all that. If you feel up to it, do it. That's what I think. Yeah, I remember when it first happened a year ago, people started, it was all unreal for everyone and you started to meet more and more families out walking. You know, the kids were off school. Some of them were off school. That's why everything's widened. And all that sort of thing. Um, and gradually people started to think, was it real or not? And then... We had the NHS clapping on a Thursday evening at 8 to clap for the heroes and they didn't really want to be clapped because they... Oh, there's some people coming. Hold on, just turn off a minute. It's bypassing a really big muddy pit. So just met two mountain bikers who were struggling through it. And yeah, they went through that. It's real thick mud, isn't it? Don't think there's much more of that though now. So I'm just carrying on. That's a squelchy bit. It's true. Yeah, nearly at the end now. There's Canada Coombe down there. Um, I, I do do that walk sometimes. What I'm doing is just really been taking a real gentle, easy walk, like I tend to these days. It's not a march. It allows me to breathe. And people just coming down, that's good. Look at Jack Russell there. I'm going up the wibbly wobbly lane now. Well, you can branch off at the top to go to Crook's Peak or Loxton, Christ Christon. You can go around the plantation from up there. Um, you can do the West Mendip Way as a junction point at the top. And the plantation is in front of us, privately owned. There we go, up the wibbly wobbly track. <sighs> Which I'm not going to video. I videoed it loads of times. Usually coming down it though. I've seen some people pass by a minute ago. They might be going where I'm going, but I'll give them a head start. This is a very old route, road, by the way. This truck here. Part of the West Mendit Way. I think. 
Yeah, because I didn't take it onto the Roman road. Yeah, it is. Over and out.